The great thing about tool length offset is you only have to set the offset for your workpiece once. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. We've got tool one is in the spindle. It has been picked from the magazine, so it's been touched off on the tool setter. So it has a TLO or a tool length offset applied to the cutter. Now that's separate from the work coordinate Z. And we're going to use the probing function to set that with a touch plate. So let's move to zero position, which is in the center of the piece or approximately the center. And we'll get our touch plate. This isn't a fancy one, just for setting Z. We'll move Z down to just above it. There we go. Probe Z. Check the probe. This is a nice feature. Make sure everything's working. Next. Done. Z0. And we're there. So let's load our file. And hit go. Now when this file quits running, I will show you how the tool recognition works. Right there, it's probing away from the beam to determine whether the... to determine whether the clamping nut is present, which lets it know whether it's successfully loaded or unloaded the tool. Now, I'm not actually cutting because I didn't really want to make a mess or take a whole lot of time. Just demonstrating how it changes tools. Only having to set the work offset one time at the beginning of the file. Everything else is hands free and automatic. Once you use rapid change on your machine, you'll wonder how you ever did anything without it. Rapid Change ATC is a game changer and it can be yours. Happy tool changes and thanks for watching.